Hello again. In this video, we'll learn about univariate analysis and we'll also be covering categorical variables. Um, now, in our task, which is uh, trying to explain the past or explore data, the date idea of data exploration is about describing the data by means of statistical and visualization techniques. Yes, so we try to extract some statistics and visualize some uh, 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 properties or characteristics of the data. We explore the, da we explore the data in order to bring important aspects of that data into focus for further analysis. So basically we try to find some interesting properties and relationships so we can do further analysis. We have two paradigms, univariate analysis and bivariate analysis. Just to remind ourselves of the contents of the tutorial, data exploration, univariate, bivariate, as we've seen from the first video. We'll be covering categorical now and we'll cover numerical later and then com converting or transforming between them in both directions. And then same, we'll be covering for bivariate analysis. Now, univariate analysis. Uh, basically, what we do here is as the prefix uni uh, suggests, we explore variables or attributes one by one. Variables could be either categorical or numerical. So we have two types of variables, either categorical or um, numerical. And we have different statistical and visualization techniques for you know investigation of each type of variable. So we have different techniques for categorical variables and different techniques for uh, numerical variables. We can also transform between them, so numerical variables can be transformed into categorical counterparts by a process called binning or discretization. We can transform numerical variables to categorical variables, or we can do the opposite, i.e. Convert, convert or transform categorical variables into numerical variables using a process called encoding. So finally, one important thing is we need to have uh, a good strategy for handling missing values when the data has missing values. If you remember the data set we saw in the last video, the IRS data set, sometimes you know some values can be missing, some values can be missing like that and we need to have a proper strategy of how to actually deal with uh, the situation when we have data missing, yes? Now, in this video as I said, I'd like to cover categorical variables. Now, Categorical or discrete variables are the ones that has two or more categories or values. If you remember the, the same data set, we mentioned the class can be Iris Versicola, Iris, Iris Virginica, or Iris Citosa. These are categorical because we only have a limited set of values, yeah, three values. It's not a number. Going back to the slide. So, categorical or sometimes called discrete variables they are the ones which have more two or more categories of values and we have actually two types of variables we have nominal and ordinal a nominal variable has no intrinsic ordering to its categories like for example for example if we say colors red green and blue we don't really have an order for red green and blue we don't say red is uh, red is greater than green or uh, blue is less than red yes there's no ordering this is this is called a nominal variable whereas an ordinal variable we do have some clear ordering so for example if we have a dress size we can say small medium large extra large then obviously we do have uh, some ordering as you can imagine or for example for um, you know temperature we can say low medium and high we do have some ordering now what we can do for these values is we can actually build a frequency table, a count of how many of the categories we have uh, occurs. As we mentioned for the data set here, for this data set, for example, for the class variable, we have 50 iris citosa instances, 50 iris versicolor instances, and 50 iris virginica instances. We can build a count or uh, a frequency table of these values. Now, this kind of, 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 of variables, or this kind of data, it can be enhanced maybe by using percentage. So for this, 50, 50, 50 each out of 150, we can say 33.33% for each of them. Now, as we mentioned before, for univariate categorical variables, 
we can have statistics or have counts and we can use bar charts to visualize them or we can have percentage or you can use pie chart to visualize them so the no for, for a count we use the number of values of the specified variable and for the percent for the pie chart we use the percentage of uh, the specified variable let's have an example from the website of professor uh, Syed now here we have an example from a housing data set where uh, we have three categories we can have free housing or if someone owns the house they live in or whether it's actually a rented house we build a frequency table account of each of the three categories and for this data set for example it, this could be a result of a small study maybe a small scale study let's say we have um, let's say we have uh, uh, 900 people and out of these 900 people we have 96 people live for free 641 of these people own the houses they live in and 163 live in a rented house what we can do is we can find the percentage so 96 over 900 is 10.67% 641 over 900 is 71.22% and 163 out of 900 that is 18.11% now to uh, have a bar chart we can have these bars representing the count of each of the three categories as you can see for free housing less than 100 which is 96 owned houses between 6 and 700 as you can see here and rented houses between 100, 100 and 200 as you can see here this is the frequency or the count and these are the, the three categories whereas for the percentage we can have this pie chart showing, showing the percentage of each of them and note, notice the color coding so the free housing is f blue which is 11 percent that that much of the pie of the chart of the circle that that slice and then for the rented houses 18 percent the green slice and then for the owned houses 71 percent the red slice thank you very much for watching i'm going to stop here in the next video i'll be covering numerical variables